Please remain standing. Right here. Okay. Before we begin, we want to take a moment, a moment of reflection. We like to think of those who are no longer with us in body, but we feel they're here with us in our hearts. Could we please take this moment of reflection? Please be seated. I'll tell you when to get the flowers. See what, see what kind of crowd you have, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm gonna start your wedding again. Okay. Okay? All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Beautiful. I want to welcome all of you to a celebration. This is the celebration of Jennifer and Colin's wedding. And we're here today before God and all of you, their closest family and friends, to celebrate the blending of their lives, becoming husband and wife. Now, on this day, Jennifer and Colin have uh, decided to share a very special moment in their lives with all of you. On this day, with the very closest family and friends here, they are going to share this moment where they become husband and wife. And Jennifer and Colin, they come together and they're honored to be sharing this moment with you, as I know we are all honored to be here to give our best wishes, our love, and blessings to them on this very special day. Now, Jennifer, Colin, you come here symbolically as two. After you share a few words, your vows, your rings, you will leave here united within marriage, a bond which will allow your love to continue to grow and become even stronger in time. As family, as family and friends, each of you have played a part, a role, in bringing Colin and Jennifer to this very special moment. And in various ways, you'll continue to contribute and to support them as the years go on. We honor this couple at this time and all of you here. All of you. All of you and even you guys. <laughs> Make it special by being here to share the feelings of love, connection, and uh, on this very important weekend where we honor veterans, the original Armistice Day was to celebrate World War I, and this is expanded to all veterans and all who serve this great country of ours, this is a very special weekend to be sharing your vows as we honor people who are 
part of what makes our lives, our country, and our world great. Um, Olivia, could you take these flowers, please? Okay. Okay. Now, this is going to be an interesting thing because I would like you to face each other. Just a little. Okay. Now, you may please hold hands. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Love is patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful nor conceited. It is never rude nor selfish. It does not take offense and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's faults but delights in the truth. It is always ready to hold, to trust, to hope. Love is always ready to endure whatever comes. True love does not come to an end. Now, on this uh, very special day, it's very important that we have you speak to one another, and we call these verbal vows, but I'm going to make this very easy for you. I'm going to say a whole bunch, I'm starting with you, Colin. I'm going to say a whole bunch of things, and at the end of these things, I will ask you a question. You will answer correctly. <laughs> By the way, these are the I do vows. <laughs> okay. oh, I want you to look in Jennifer's eyes as I say the following. On this day, surrounded by the love of God and your closest family and friends. Do you take Jennifer to be your wife, knowing that you will always be there as her constant friend, faithful partner, and one true love? Do you also promise to love Jennifer without reservation or judgment, comfort her in times of distress, encourage her to achieve her dreams, laugh with her, cry with her, and grow with her in mind, in spirit, and keep your love pure with honesty and openness while always cherishing her. Look in her eyes. Are you guys looking at I do. That was the right answer. Okay, Jennifer, your turn. Look in Colin's eyes. Jennifer, on this amazing day, surrounded by the love of God and your family and friends, do you take Colin to be your husband, knowing that you will always be there as his constant friend and faithful partner and one true love? Do you also promise to love Colin without reservation or judgment, comfort him in times of distress, encourage him to achieve his dreams, laugh with him, cry with him, and grow with him in mind and spirit, and keep your love pure with honesty and openness while always cherishing him? I do. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. Now, for thousands of years, couples have exchanged rings as a token, as a symbol of their vows. These simple metal bands are not of great value when compared to what they represent. Let your rings be a sign that your love has a past, a present, and a future. And a ring is a circle. A circle has no end. So as you share your lives together, let that love, the excitement, the connection go on forever. Now, Nate, would you have a very beautiful ring? That... <laughs> go ahead and take the ring. Okay, go ahead and place the ring. See how gentle he is. <laughs> Hold her hand. Look, look in her eyes and repeat after me. Jennifer, take this ring. Jennifer, take this ring. As a symbol of my devotion to you. As a symbol of my devotion to you. Of the gift of love. Of the gift of love. That has come to us. That has come to us. And my desire to share my life with you. And my desire to share my life with you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Olivia, your turn. It's not as pretty, but it's a nice ring. Okay. 
Get that other hand. Yeah, hold hands. Perfect. Look at each other's eyes. Repeat after me. Colin, take this ring. Colin, take this ring. As a symbol of my devotion to you. As a symbol of my devotion to you. Of the gift of love. Of the gift of love. That has come to us. That has come to us. In my desire to share my life with you. In my desire to share this life with you. Perfect. Okay. Now, as uh, you celebrate this afternoon, this evening, uh, with everyone who is here. I want you to, everyone in the congregation, you're with people that you've known all your lives. You are with people who you are meeting for the first time. This is a weekend to share. It's about love. It's about honor. It's about commitment. And it is also about peace. And the first Armistice Day was to celebrate the peace that we share on Earth. And Veterans Day is symbolic of our, of our world as a peaceful world. So as you meet new people, as you see people you've known for years, realize the love, the honor, the peace, the commitments that we make to each other and to one another, how important those things are for all of us. So please enjoy meeting and getting to know new friends, family, old friends, and enjoy this, enjoy this weekend for what it's all about. Now, don't go anywhere. Like a journey along a road, marriage has its ups, its downs, its thorny parts, and its smooth parts. I just happened to find these roses over by the altar. And uh, we're going to give Colin and Jennifer the, this very first moment or attempt to share these ladies first. Here, you hold this one. Okay. You're going to switch in a second. Yeah. We're going to keep going. We're going to give them the very first moment to share roses with one another. And the giving of a rose means three words of the most important words in our language or any language. I love you. And we're going to share this very first exchange of roses with Colin and Jennifer as we share this day. So if you would please share those roses and both of you go together. These very first roses that Colin and Jennifer are giving, give, gave to one another and exchanged, they are in turn giving away to the grandmothers and the mothers to show and represent their feeling of the importance of family. We have two people who come from two different families and they're uniting to spend a lifetime with one another and become a family in their own right. And as you have given those flowers away out of love, it also is important to show and understand where we come from. And families are so important. This is about God, family, love, and we all share those, those things. 
We're almost done. Bear with me. Well, we're almost there. Let us pray. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let the light of his countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you, Jennifer and Colin, to your family, your friends, and all you come in contact with. May the Lord grant peace and love to everyone forever and ever. Amen. Colin, Jennifer, never forget the beginning of your love for one another. I heard something that when you first met, you knew that you had found the one that you wanted to be with. You can, tell, you can share those stories with all your family and friends tonight. But there is something that is so beautiful and so pure about this connection that you have and above everything else, above everything, always, always love one another. Now that we have spent this moment here before God, your family and friends, it is my honor to say the following. By the power and the authority vested in me by this great state of Missouri, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Colin, you may now kiss your bride. I want to present to you second lieutenants, Colin and Jennifer Sullivan, husband and wife.